topic for today is developing marketing mix value proposition product. But before I start, I want to show you a short recap about marketing and marketing mix. Marketing is a process of continuously and profitably satisfying target customers' needs, wants, and expectations. Marketing mix refers to the actions a company takes to the market. There are four components of marketing mix. Product, place, promotion, and price. So, in order to develop a marketing mix, there are two steps. First, you need to start understanding the piece of marketing, which is the place, product, promotion, and price. Second, you need to assemble your value proposition before other elements. So, what is value proposition? Value proposition is a simple statement that summarizes why a customer would choose your product or service. It refers to the value of the company promises to deliver to its customers. And your value proposition can also be presented as your business statement. So, basically, your value proposition should answer the question, why should I buy this product? In short, a value proposition is a clear and brief statement of tangible result a customer can get to your product. So, the value proposition itself will speak for brand relevance and brand differentiation. Here is the best example of value proposition. Nike offers four primary value propositions, accessibility, innovation, customization, and brand. When it comes to accessibility, Nike is offering a wide variety of options. As you can see, it acquired numerous footwear and apparel firms since its founding, giving consumers more to choose from. And in innovation, obviously, Nike still managed to keep their trademark by creating a research facility focused on designing cutting-edge products and Nike Advanced Product Creation Center focused on technology incorporation. And in customization, it allows customers to personalize various aspects of their shoes, including sports style, traction, and colors. Nike has a strong brand because the company is the top seller of athletic footwear and apparel globally. It has partnered with several of the world-leading athletes to promote its product, including Michael Jordan. And lastly, the company has won many honors, including the recognition as the world's most innovative company by past company 2013 and the most admired company in America for apparel three years in a row. So in business, why do we need value proposition? You need a value proposition because a strong value proposition will help you break through the clutter and get the customer's attention. Your business value proposition is the most important element of your overall marketing. Why? Because your value proposition tells the customer why they should do business with you rather than other competitors. What is product? A product is generally described as any good or service that is manufactured for sale to satisfy the needs and wants of the target market. So, there are two fundamental product questions. First, who is your target market? Second, what are their needs and wants? So, here is the hierarchy of needs by Abraham Maslow. First, we're going from bottom to top. First, physiological needs. These are the food, shelter, and clothing. Second is safety needs. Se our security, health, and financial. Third, love and belongingness. Our social needs. Fourth, fourth is self-esteem. There is where you're, you feel respected and considered. The last one, self-actualization. It drives people to their full potential to actually work hard. And that is where Abraham Maslow hierarchy of needs occur. The concept that marketers need to understand because consumers have different levels of needs. The next 
next topic is about new product development. There are two sets of needs must be met. The internal needs and the external needs. First, external needs. There were the customer needs and wants. And the second one is internal needs. It is the company objectives and company resources. For example, the company expansion of Jollibee. One of the best company expansion is Jollibee. Because Jollibee Food Corporation bought Mang Inasal in 2009 as part of their product portfolio management. That includes burger and chicken for Jollibee, pizza and pasta for Greenwich, and cakes for Red Ribbon. Mang Inasal differentiated itself as the only grilled chicken restaurant among the top fast food players in the Philippines. And the diversification of Monde. When it comes to company diversification, Mond or Monde was in the biscuit business since 1979 and did not have any noodle product until their launching of Lucky Me in 1989 are the two factors that needs to consider in new product development. There are three purposes under new product development program. One, to effectively respond to changing customer wants and needs. Two, to effectively respond to the company's expan expansion plan. Third, two, present competitors and other threats and fear.
Mr. Melevidad and in future report about developing the marketing mix in product. Right now, I'm going to tackle about the new development process and one of the seven step process by Taylor 1989. What is new development process? The new product development process, it is the process of a product or service from the conception of market. Also, this process is set of different stages when there are new products. This typically go through the beginning with ideation and concept generation and will end with the introduction of product in the market. But sometimes there are barriers because of different product and different nature of their business. So, in order us to become successful, we must need to obtain new ones by carefully executed the new development process. But sometimes there are problems. So, therefore, it is the crucial importance to understand about the consumers, markets, and competitors in order, in order to develop the products that will deliver the superior value to customer in, or, in other words, there are no permanent products because customer finding new products and their different needs. That's why product champion exists. But first, we must know what is product champion. Product is needed for each product or groups of products that they are the one or person who initiates or review a new product concept because which they believe insists the new product development must reach a success, successful and profitable commercialization. Within the less pro products, or in a simple way, the product champion should not only be a good analyst, but should also be good at getting things done. Also, what is the role of product champion? The role of product champion is they are the one or person can lead a business or industry that they can establish the proper level of investments, set the foundation, create a business management councils, and many more. This can role of product champion can lead them to success. Also, the importance of being product champion. Product champion is the other one who sees the value of a product and creates and develops the product in a systematic function. That is why I can say product champion is important in industry or any business because they got a lot of things to do that can lead a product to success. And now, I will go to discuss about one of the seven major process of new product development by Taylor 1989 and that is product criteria. What is product criteria? Product criteria will define the kinds of product of a firm that will be selling or won't be selling. This will define the business in the future. Like for example, when the business or company is leading a product in in one industry, they want to start a new business that they create a new product that can compete in different industry and they can dominate it. Also, in the product criteria, they must divide their relevant strength because they can use and advantages from them that dominate in other business because they have a product that can define other things that business don't have. Also, in the product criteria, is divided into mass and wants. The mass criteria is mandatory or non-negotiable, while the wants criteria are desirable but negotiable. That is why it is dangerous to choose a product without any product criteria, like a for example in a mass criteria. Mass potential for market dominance, at least 50% of gross margins, and around 10,000 to 30,000 in end user pricing. This is the mass because it insert the criteria that they are the one mandatory or non-negotiable like the product for market dominance. Of course, you must define your product in the market before you can dominate it and can lead them to your success. While in the once criteria is example unique benefits, 
good product quality, quality and minimal after sales, and many more. These criteria are inserted in the ones because it's desirable but negotiable. Like for example, good product quality. Because when you're starting a business, you make sure that your product is in a good quality. That's why the customer need a product that in good quality to meet their satisfaction. Also, I'm going to discuss about the possible product criteria for retail stores. There are six types. The first one is product uniqueness. Product uniqueness, this is on top demand that will bring an additional sales. Also, as unique features that may convince customers and other people to upgrade their present standard. Like for example, if a company or business wants to offer the retail stores to the other to give an opportunity to increase the total sales revenue by the way of its, its therapeutic benefits as well as better margins for the sales. Next one is good value. Good value, there will be no junk items. Shall be carried that can affect the store image. Also, the pricing must be reasonable like this abyss quality. Like for example, the SM has a reputation of carrying product that must be affordable in middle class and other classes that they can afford to buy and sell their product. Next one is advertising support. In the advertising support, the customer will not purchase a new product unless they are aware in the new product, the use of it, and the existence of it. Also, the, the product will be purchased unless the supplier can show relevant support for creating awareness and merchandising like for example, big company or business, they promote their different product and the benefit of this by the use of advertising even they, can, even they spend money. Next one is profitability. In the profitability, there are different products that have different margins. Like for example, in the company or business, the product that they are selling got different percentage of profit that they have. Like in the supermarket, they have 8 to 10 percent profit that they get, while in the other store, they only got 1 to 5 percent. And that is when you call profitability. Next one is introductory discounts or allowance. In the introductory discounts or allowance, the new products that may not move as fast as the older products and can deny the store faster turnover and better return of shelf space. Like for example, the business is expected to give a one year long term in, in their store if there are any new product that they, they're gonna launch. That's why they got have introductory discounts or allowance in product. And the last one is company reputation. In the company reputation, because of the some companies, they enjoy a reputation from the marketing winners. Also, the probability of buying from reputable suppliers to decrease the risk of having non-moving items. Like for example, this is the company that are looking for different retailers that they are not only want to market their product, but also in partnering with the store to build their business. We also have six different types of product criteria for a direct selling company. The first one is not widely distributor of at the retail store. This type when the business company will buy directly from a salesperson of an unavailability in retail stores. Like for example, this is when the business will go to promote their product that are not available in retail stores. Next one is not widely advertised in mass media. This is a well-advertised product that can increase the chance of a prospect to inquire from the other source instead of buying from the direct salesperson. Like for example, the other business or company will not promote other product in their mass media. Next one is attractive profit margins. This is a high income potential that will offer to the different independent salespeople 
that called dealers or associate. Like for example, the business and other company will offer the commission of 50% retail stuff for their sales in the leaders of the Philippines. But there are conditions, like no media advertising, no listing fee, and many more conditions. And next one is affordable pricing. This is a cash prices that should be reasonable, attractive for to buy. Also, the price must be comparable with what available in the retail store. Like future by future. Like for example, the company will offer us the same price in other a company that are competitive against in other brands. Next one, it requires educational or demonstrational effort to sell. In this type, the products that require educational or demonstrational efforts enable the salesperson to explain the differentiated feature of the product that they are selling. Like for example, the product can have like a pre-taste that the customer can taste their product also as information of the ingredients of the product. And the last one is almost everyone can use and use continuously. This is a type, it is the selling of consumables that can be used by almost everybody that can capture a market for a repeat purchases. That the customers are happy with the product, service, as well as the price. Like for example, the business will offer a discount and sales to their product that the customer can afford and buy as many as they can.